Hi, I'm Brian Jones. Uh, I've been the percussionist with the orchestra since 1975. Uh, you're here in my studio and we're here to talk a little bit about uh, percussion instruments and what they involve. Percussion basically is broken down into two main groups of instruments, pitched and non-pitched. Uh, pitched instruments, of course, are instruments like the timpani, all the mallet instruments, xylophones, marimbas, glockenspiels, tubular chimes, uh, vibraphones, and then we have all the non-pitched instruments, which are the myriad of, of things that we have in my studio here. Uh, drum sets, snare drums, tom-toms, bass drums, bongos, conga drums, all kinds of hand drums, uh, effects, uh, tambourines, triangles, all the different um, uh, toys that we get to play with in, on a daily basis in percussion. Okay, so this is the snare drum. Uh, it comes in many different shapes and sizes. Uh, this one is custom made down in the States for me about five, six years ago. Uh, snare drums are, are snare drums because they have this, this snare mechanism on the bottom, which alters the sound of the drum once it's attached to the head with, with a lever. And then it turns it from basically a high-pitched tom-tom uh, type of sound into that specific sound of the snare drum. So from that, It's still one of my favorite instruments uh, that I like to play in the orchestra. I don't get a lot of chance to play it because I end up playing uh, a lot of the mallet parts all the time. But snare drum is a great instrument. I have about five or six different sizes of snare drums, different thicknesses of shells, which play an important part in this, the type of sound that you get out of a snare drum. And of course the standard percussion instruments uh, that we use a lot in the orchestra are the bass drum, of course the snare drum, crash cymbals, uh, all the small effects like triangles, Tambourines, doing shake rolls, doing thumb rolls with your thumb, uh, lots of different ways of playing the tambourine as well. We have an awful lot of uh, unusual effects that we end up playing in percussion. A lot of wooden effects like, like temple blocks, usually a hard rubber mallet sounds the best. Lots of different sizes of wood blocks, from great big, huge ones like this. Same sort of, same idea to, uh, to much smaller ones. African shakers, maracas, lots of different sizes of maracas. Anybody who's been to Mexico will know that. This one's called a jawbone. It's a modern adaption, actually, of a cow's jaw. Uh, they last a lot longer. <laughs> Casitas, which is like a, a Brazilian shaker, played on the bottom or on the side, depending on what kind of effect you want. A lot of hand drums up here, djembes, uh, bongo drums, congas, uh, little tiny whistles, Brazilian whistles. <laughs> Mark trees modern uh, instrument that's just been sort of out in the last probably 25, 30 years. Uh, a much older instrument that uh, called a Chinese bell tree. And again, you need to play with a, with a hard mallet. Like that. The marimbas uh, come in numerous shapes and sizes. This is a small four octave one that we, we use a lot in the orchestra just because it doesn't take up as much space. Uh, but we have uh, all the way up to a 4.6 uh, instrument over here, which is still my favorite. And marimba has an absolutely beautiful sound. A great instrument to practice on. This is a 4.6 octave, and I have a 5 octave one upstairs, which is going to be used uh, in a couple of weeks by our percussion soloist, Colin Curry. The other mallet instrument that's used uh, a lot in the orchestra is the xylophone. Uh, xylophone is the same type of wood, but it's cut very differently and has a very bright, sharp sound. Played with very hard mallets versus the marimba, which is played with, with yarn mallets, very soft, much softer mallets. And January 21st and 22nd, we've got a Scottish percussion soloist coming. Uh, Colin's been here, this will be a thir his third time now. A wonderful player and got some really exciting uh, pieces coming up. The Late Night Show, uh, features a lot of solo repertoire uh, that he's doing on marimba 
Uh, some of it I know, and it's it's terrific, terrific repertoire. So, and Colin's a wonderful player. The Gruber uh, rough music should be really exciting. I know our at um, having looked at the score and and the percussion solo part, it looks just monstrously difficult. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing him play because he's a very dynamic uh, musician and uh, and very entertaining. So if you haven't ever heard percussion uh, solo before, come out to this fella. He's fabulous.